Hi guys. <clears throat> the winds changed directions today. This morning turned up cool. 60 I think it said uh, 63 this morning. <laughs> I said, man, that's that's a cold spot. <clears throat> it was cold in, in Marsha's mom's house. I thought until I walked outside, come back in, it was pretty warm. <laughs> yep, it was cold. Anyway, we just got back. We went down yesterday after I'd done the video. Stayed the night and I just got back. But I was going to do this video down there, but it didn't work out. This is a, we didn't have a study for today. Uh, what is today? Wednesday. <clears throat> But I put together some some highlights from the letter to the Philippians, which here goes the airport. We got an airport right here by us, and they do uh, training lessons down there, training how to fly one. So anyway, I've got a little bit here from Philippians, and I don't know that I got any any particular order or might but I doubt I, <laughs> I kind of just you know just things that kind of that stand out to me in Philippians uh, see what we come up with here Paul and Timothy slaves of Christ Jesus to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi together with the supervisors and servants uh, the supervisors will be those that are watching over the ecclesia uh, the servants I'm, I mean I'm guessing in my in my mind and servants will be those that help uh, uh, help the people that's in there I don't know it's uh, servants you know they serve people they take care of them kind of like the, the, the supervisor would be like the preacher of the ecclesia and the servants would be like the those in the the elders, the uh, today they call them deacons. Uh, I guess that's what they call them. But anyway, <laughs> grace to you and peace from God, our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. I am thanking my God at every remembrance of you, always, and every petition of mine for you all, making the petition with joy. For your contributions to the evangel from the first day until now, having the same confidence that he who undertakes a good work among you will be performing it until the day of Jesus Christ. God won't free. He, he won't deny us, right? He's with us. And this I'm praying that your love may be superbounding still more and more in realization and all sensibility. For you to be testing what things are of consequence that you may be sincere and no stumbling block for the day of Christ. Filled with the fruit of righteousness that is through Jesus Christ for the glory and the lot of God. <clears throat> for I am aware that for me this will be eventuating in salvation through your petition and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ in accord with my premonition and expectation that in nothing shall I be put to shame. But with all boldness, as always, now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether through life or through death. And having this same confidence, I am aware that I shall be remaining and shall be abiding with you, with you all for your progress and joy of faith, that your glory may be superabounding in Christ Jesus in me through my presence with you again. Only be citizens walking worthily of the evangel of Christ. That with coming and making your acquaintance or being absent, I should be hearing of your concerns, that you are standing firm in one spirit and one soul, competing together in the faith of the evangel. For to you it is graciously granted, for Christ's sake, not only to be believing on him, but to be suffering for his sake also. <laughs> if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any communion of spirit, if any compassion and pity, fill my joy full that you may be mutually disposed 
having mutual love, joined in soul, being disposed to one thing, nothing according to faction, nor yet with vainglory, but with humility, deeming one another superior to oneself, not each knowing that which is his own, but each that of others also. Let this disposition be in you, which is in Christ Jesus also. <laughs> Blue Jay. For it is God who is operating in you to will, as well as the work for the sake of his delight. All be doing without murmurings and reasonings, that you may become blameless and artless, children of God, flawless in the midst of a crooked uh, generation, crooked and perverse, among whom you are appearing as luminaries in the world. You know, if we're participating in the same thing that the world is, how are we going to stand out if we're doing the same thing? How are we uh, standing out as luminaries if we're doing the same thing? For the rest, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To be writing you, to do, to be writing the same to you, in, is not indeed irksome for me. Yet it is for your security. Beware of curse. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the maim decision. For we are the circumcision who is offering divine service in the Spirit of God, and you are glorying in, in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. But thanks which were gained to me, these I deemed forfeit because of Christ. But to be sure, I am also deeming all to be forfeit because of, because of the superiority of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord because of whom I forfeited all, and in deeming it to be refuge that I should be gaining Christ, and that I may be found in him, not having my righteousness, which is of law, but that which is through the faith of Jesus, of Christ, the righteousness which is from God for faith, to know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, conforming to his death, if somehow I should be attaining to the resurrection that is out from among the dead, not that I already obtained or am already perfected, yet I am pursuing, if I may be grasping also, that for which I was grasped also by Christ Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Become imitators together of me, brethren, and be noting those who are walking thus, walking as Paul was. According as you have us for a model, for many are walking of whom I often told you, yet now I am lamenting also as I tell it, who are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose consummation is destruction, whose God is, is their bowels, and whose glory is in their shame, who to the terrestrial are disposed. For our realm is inherent in the heavens, out of which we are awaiting a Savior also, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transfigure the body of our humiliation to conform it to the body of His glory, in accord with the operation which enables Him even to subject all to Himself. Having to, <laughs> to conform it to the body of His glory. Wow. So that my brethren and beloved long for my joy and my wreath, be standing firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. Be rejoicing in the Lord always. Again, I would declare, be rejoicing. Let your lenience be made known to all men. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God that is superior to every frame of mind shall be garrisoned your hearts and your apprehensions in Christ Jesus. That's where we have our peace. We have peace in that, don't we? Hmm. Being inherently in the form of God, Christ Jesus, who being inherently in the form of God, did not deem it pillaging to be equal with God. Nevertheless, empties himself 
taking the form of a slave, coming to be in the likeness of humanity, and be found and fashioned as a human, he humbles himself, becoming obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore also God highly exalts him, and graces him with a name that is above every name, that in the name of Jesus every knee should be bowing, celestial and terrestrial and subterranean, and every tongue should be acclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of God the Father. <laughs> for the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is grave, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is agreeable, whatever is renowned, if there is any virtue and if any applause, be taking these into account. And what you learned also and accepted and perceived in me, these be putting into the practice. And the God of peace will be with you. Now, my God shall be filling your every need in accord with his riches in, the, in glory in Christ Jesus. Now, to our God and Father be glory for the eons of the eons. Amen. Those are highlights from the letter to Philippians. Isn't that neat? I like it. Read them slow. It makes a lot. Uh, <laughs> it makes it hit home better. Stay focused in Paul's letter and stay focused on things above. There's so much of the evil going on in this world right now that if we focus in that, it's easy to be distracted and lose the peace that we have. So stay focused on things above. I love you guys, and thanks for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you tomorrow. See you then.